In this Tech Byte, we'll talk about integrating an SAP Conversational AI chatbot into S for HANA. We've divided into two parts. So in this part, we'll talk about how to enable chatbots for, from your SAP Conversational AI tenant to appear inside the Fury Launchpad. So imagine we're a user and we want to, instead of going through all the applications, we want to open up a chatbot. So what we want to create is a little icon in the upper right so the user can open up the chatbot. Okay? So the first thing we need to do is to actually have a chatbot that can be seen here because we won't get this little icon unless we actually have a chatbot. So, so let's go to a test chatbot. This is just a, a chatbot that has the greetings. And I will set it a web client interface. And I will say that we will authenticate using SSO. Okay. And we will say we already have a application ID. Now this channel, we want to uh, give a name so that the user will see uh, a name for this chatbot. So we'll just call it Daniel's Test Chatbot. And our app application ID that's already been set up in the back end is UKT940. Okay, and that's all we need to do. Now, in the Fury Launchpad, if we go back and we refresh, we don't see anything in the right because we haven't set up uh, that little icon. So that's what we'll do now. We have basically two steps. We have to create a Fury catalog that indicates that we want to take chatbots from our chatbot tenant. And the second thing is we have to create a role that gives permission to that catalog to the current user. So we'll start with creating a catalog. Now, generally speaking, I can get to the catalog interface by uh, clicking this Fiori uh, tile. I can get the old interface, which sometimes I need so I can delete uh, catalogs over here. Okay, so we'll open up the catalog interface and we'll say that we want to create a new catalog. Okay, and we'll call this Daniel's catalog and we'll give it an ID. We'll say it's Z C A I Daniel S O catalog. Okay, so we've created a catalog, but now we have to tell it. Um, what's included in this catalog. So we'll go to the target mapping and we'll create a target mapping. And we'll say this deals with the shell. So we're going to define something for the shell. And we have a plugin. Now this will be a Fury app. We'll give it a name. So Daniel's uh, target mapping. And the URL we will take from the tenant that we want to take our chatbots from. So uh, this was what it will be. So you specify your tenant, and then there's a section that you need to specify afterwards. And the ID here, we specify that this is a chatbot that we want to add. So there's a special code for that, and we save it. And now our catalog is set up. And now all we have to do is give our user the role so that they receive this catalog and then they'll see the icon. So let's do that in the old SAP GUI. We've already opened up transaction PFCG, so we can define a role. So let's define a role Let's create it. And there's only two things that we need to do. One is to say that anybody with this role will get the Fiori catalog. And the other thing is to give permission um, and then to assign the role to a user. So the first thing we'll go into menu. We have to save it first. We'll go into the menu. We'll say we want to add a Fiori launchpad and a launchpad catalog.
we will search for the catalog we just created. There it is. And that's done. So this role, whoever has this role, um, whoever has this role will get this catalog, which means they will get the icon for chatbots. And the last thing we do is add a user. So we will add my user. And it's all done and we will save. And now we'll go back to the Fiori Launchpad and reload it. And you see that we now get the chatbot button and we can open it and we can say hi and we get a response. I hope that was helpful. I want to especially thank Dipper Zhang for all her help and for her blog series on this subject. Please make sure to look in the description for important prerequisites. And next time we'll talk about how to actually build a chatbot that interacts with Esfrahana.